One of the bigger problems I have in my shop is that I tend to load up the horizontal surfaces with junk. And the biggest offender is my workbench. It hasn't been clear on the surface for over a year. So I came up with an idea on how I can maybe fix that problem. And it basically involves building shelves to put the junk on. And that way I'll have a place dedicated for junk. And I won't be using the top of my workbench or the top of the bandsaw or any other place like that to put the clutter on. So the project is made from half inch plywood mostly. And of course there's a lot of cutting involved, but I'm not gonna show a lot of that. You guys already know how to cut things up and you've seen plenty of that already. Now to get started on assembly, I'm going to set a piece of plywood up on my table saw. And then I'm gonna attach these L-shaped brackets that'll hold one of the sides upright so that I can fasten it to the center divider. And the reason why I'm doing this up on my table saw is because it makes it easier to film, first of all. And also it's a little bit more comfortable for me to work on. I prefer standing up rather than kneeling down on the floor or bending over. Of course, working with this type of plywood can be a challenge because often it's not perfectly flat. And that was especially true for the stuff that I had. So I had to make a temporary clamp to pull the sides in tight together because they were curved out. And this is just a strip of wood with a couple of screws driven in that hook over the edge. Anyway, there's nothing fancy about the way I'm putting this together. I'm just using brads with no glue. And then after the parts are put together, I'll strengthen the joint by driving in a few screws. Next, I need to take it down off the workbench and then draw layout lines for the bottom shelf. And then I can fasten that in exactly the same way. At this point, the unit is upside down because I have a lot of work that I need to do on the bottom section and having it face up like this makes it easier to do. And the bulk of that work is to install the divider panels for the drawers. And before I put those in, I'm installing the tracks for the drawer runners that I made. I designed these slides a while back and I made a video showing where I did that. If you're interested, there's a link in the description. You can go watch that. And I decided to use them in this cabinet for these drawers, mainly because I haven't used them in a project yet. With the drawer dividers in place, I put spacers in between to hold them at the right distance. And then I fasten the bottom structures and these are just two layers of half inch plywood. I want this unit to be mobile so that I can wheel it out away from the wall. And the idea here is that the back shelves will hold all of the clutter, but I don't wanna be seeing it all the time. So the concept is to put it up against the wall and just roll it out when I need to get something off those shelves or to add more clutter to it. And the casters that I have are ones from another project that's no longer with us, so I'm free to use them here. I can then flip the stand over and put it upright and put in the narrow shelves on the front of the cabinet. And once again, I'm just using brad nails into the ends of the shelves and through the center divider. These shelves are fixed because I have other ideas about storage for the front here, and that'll work best with shelves that don't move. With the cabinet mostly finished, I can move on to putting the drawers together. 
And like the cabinet itself, I'm not doing any fancy joinery here either. It's just glued and brad nailed butt joints and all of the components are made from that same half inch plywood. And then when the drawers are assembled, I can get the rest of the drawer runner parts installed as well in exactly the same way again with pins and then screws afterwards. To dress up the front of the cabinet, because that's the part that shows, I made a solid wood trim that goes on the front of the shelves and the other edges of the cabinet. I also made kind of an interesting addition to the drawers, and that's another drawer on top that slides sideways. And there's more about that in the build article if you're interested. And the last thing to do is to install the wide shelves on the back of the cabinet. But before I do that, I'm gonna reinforce them with some scrap strips of plywood that I have. And the shelf pins that I'm using here are actually number 10 biscuits. I did this on another cabinet for adjustable shelves and it really worked out well there. From here, I took the time to give the cabinet two coats of water-based polyurethane, at least on the areas that you could see. And then I took all of the junk that was on my workbench and I put it on those shelves. And as you can see here, I still didn't fill them up. So lots of junk potential still left. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope it gives you some ideas for your shop. You'll be able to see in upcoming videos just how well it's working out for me.